Hi viewers, do you know you can actually create your own bra cup from just a cycle? Yes, yes, it's very possible. Yes. So if this is your first time of turning to my YouTube channel, you're welcome. And this is HP Fashions GY. Don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? So right now, we'll go ahead and get the cycle. I folded this, my pattern, into four. So I'm using an arc of four inches. I'm using an arc of four inches. Afterwards, I'll look at it. I folded it into four. Afterwards, I'll go ahead and connect it all together. All right. So after this, now I'll go ahead and trim this all out. I'll go ahead and cut it out. All right. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. So once this is done, I'll just spread it open. For you to see this is actually a cycle electricity cycle so at this point now i will indicate my middle line because i folded it into four so obviously the middle line is actually there so i'll indicate my middle line then connect the broken lines together all right so ensure that your line you can use a ruler or whatsoever to do this to make it straight okay so at this point now i'm making the minus of one and a half inch or i'll better still i'll just make a minus of two inches all right i'll make a minus of two inches and i'll stop at this point i'll come at the edge of my cycle then i'll go down by two and a half inches all right two and a half inches then i'll go to the other side and still go down by two inches this time not two and a half then i'll just connect all the way all right so i'll have to connect to that two and a half inches okay so if you notice it's actually slope down a little all right unlike the other one so at this point now i'll be making a depth of three inches from that point then i'll still from the upper part i'll still go down by five and a half inches all right five and a half inches that's what I'll be using at this moment. Okay, so what I'll just do now just to get the measurement is about almost one inch, half point two. So I'll just connect it. I'll just take it all the way, all right, and stop at this point. Then connect the other side, stop at the other point, okay? All right, so from this upper point now, I'll make a curve and, uh, and connect it to the edge, the tip of my cycle, all right i will stop right there then from this point now i'm making a distance of one and a half inches then connect it to the one and a half inches all right connect it to the one and a half inches then from the other point i also slant it and connect it to also my one and a half inches at this point all right so this is what we have all right so i also want my i want also want the curve to come out well. so i'll be making do of two and a half inches at the upper part instead of three inches so i'll just connect it right there all right okay so at this point now my yoke is seven inches my yoke the minus i did then my underboss is 12 inches then i added extra half inch for seam allowance all right so the other allowance will come from the main fabric all right so once this is done now i'll check the wideness of the cup the wideness of the bust and everything is okay with extra allowance so i have about eight inches right there so at this point now i'll go ahead and trace it out and cut it out all right so the extra allowance will come from the main fabric the fabric will get for to cover the cup all right so for this this one is the is the main cup for this all right so at this point now i will just trace the the tree i'll just cut it out i'll trace the lines out then get it all out so all right so this is what we have now all right so when you get to put it together this is how it looks like okay it's actually a cup on its own all right, this is what it is and how it looks like. All right, let me bring it so close. This is how it looks like when you finally join the cup. So we get exactly this shape on our 
breast part then on the fabric all right so we've gotten the shape on our main fabric and the cup all right so at this point now we'll go ahead and join this cup it has a two face right any side you like to use as the face right so at this point now we'll just join that open side together you can actually use a a weaving machine a, a ghana weaving machine to do this or better still use your sewing machine all right so once you sew intent try to arrange and also indicate the middle so we'll sew this at we'll sew it up to the upper part of the cup then after this is done we'll take off the excess thread then when you spread open this is what you should have all right this is what you should have a perfect cup all right so we'll keep that aside and fold for the second part all right so ensure you do your folding very very well all right so you just place it all together and twist it so if you observe the reason why we make a minus of two and a half on the other side is basically for the front middle the middle um joining all right in case it has a sweetheart neckline whatever so it will blend very well all right so this is what we have you can go ahead and give a nice press okay so at this point now we'll go ahead and introduce our boning to this all right it serves as a caging so it will make it to be more fame and make it to sit properly all right so we'll create a distance of half an inch for joining we'll not start our joining at the tip okay so we'll just you can use your chalk to indicate exactly the point where you will sew before you start sewing it all right so whatsoever or however you know you will do it better just kindly indicate with your chalk or whatsoever all right so this is what we'll do at this moment before we go ahead and join it all up before we we'll go ahead and attach our bone to it all right so at this point now we'll try to attach the bone to this in order to help it make it in order to help make it more fame all right so in short to do it slowly all right so because the bone on its own it's it's strong and the pad is also strong so if your sewing machine can be very fast and can do anything all right so you're on the safer side so try to be very careful everything needs to come out perfectly all right so if you find this video very helpful don't forget to like and subscribe don't forget to comment don't also forget to share my videos all right so don't also forget to turn on turn on your notification button so whenever we get to drop new videos you will get notification for it so at this point now we'll go ahead and stitch the other side of the bone the bone actually have two sides to stitch on all right so you just go ahead and stitch on the other parts all right so after that we'll take off the excess thread and ensure everything is neat then we'll place the bone right at the middle right at the middle joining ensure to spread open okay for proper joining all right also create a distance of half an inch because you know we'll be joining attaching it to our main fabric so that the bone will also allow you to sew properly so all right so just kindly do it gradually okay so at this point now we've attached the bone in on both of them so this is how it looks like very fame very okay all right so this is what we have now all right so at uh, this moment now we'll go ahead and join our main fabric exactly the way we joined the cup okay so in short to use half an inch to do this joining or better still you know you added extra allowance for this you can actually do your joining more than this okay so i added extra one inch allowance to this all right so if there's any excess i'll go ahead and trim it all out and also 
this is what it looks like this is it all right so we are done joining for the two we'll just go ahead to cover it up on the cup all right we'll go ahead and cover it up you can use your pin to secure this at the moment you can use your pin to secure this at the moment all right you can use your pin to secure it at the moment all right before you top stitch round okay all right so this is how it looks like honestly this cup is copying this coming it is actually giving all right so you can actually try this method is a is a is a trick all right so it's a, it's it's actually very nice and okay so we'll go ahead and attach our pin to this use our pin to secure this very very well to make it relax before we go ahead and attach to our main fabric all right so at this point now i'll go ahead and sew it end of stitch round all right so i can actually feel my cup from the inside that's why i'm top stitching from the from the front of my fabric okay so this is it So this is so after top stitching i'll go ahead and trim out the excess i'll trim out the excess on the fabric all right well i won't trim out everything completely so i'll just trim out the excess on the fabric but i'll be leaving the upper part i won't stamp out the upper part until i'm done joining to my main dress so if there's any excess um, allowance i'll go ahead and trim it all out so this is it all right so this is how it looks like the upper allowance is still there i'm not going to tamper with it like i said i added extra one inch allowance on the upper part all right so this is what we have so i'll have to repeat the same procedure on the other cup yeah so i'll just go ahead and use my pin to secure the other cup ensure that the two joining side the joining of the the cup and the joining of the fabric faces each other so once that is done and everything is perfect i'll go ahead and top stitch this all right so i'll go ahead and top stitch this starting from the front because i can actually feel my fabric where it starts and where it stops okay so this is it all right so i'll just go ahead and do this gently while i take off my pins if it be possible but if it's not obstructing i'll leave it right there so that when i'm done sewing i'll go ahead and take these pins all out and trim out the excess allowance on the sides of my cup okay so at this moment now i'm going to trim this all out i'm going to trim this all out okay all right so i'm going to trim this all out so i remember i said i, I won't stamp out with the upper allowance all right so this is just for the sides all right so this is what we have for the two cups okay actually it's actually giving for me it's it's very okay and it's perfect all right so and it's fame all right so at this point now once this is done we'll get our dress this is the inner part of it and this is the outer part of it okay so this is how it looks like very very okay all right if you find this video very helpful don't forget to like subscribe to my youtube channel all right so go ahead and attach it to our dress remember see the joining side facing each other very perfect and okay so we've joined it we've done the joining and all oh, it's very firm all right so at this point now i've attached our yoke and turned it with our lining all right so this is the final look of it all right this is hp fashions gy don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel see you next time bye